Hello again, Anna Westbridge Hills, and welcome to episode number five with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right after the last episode and our hard work preparing the fields and then doing some late evening logging, um, we're up to about 192,000. It's not enough for what I've got in mind. So I'm going to go to the bank manager and extend the loan. I have a couple of options. I'm thinking about replacing the combine harvester and getting the new Holland TC590 um, because the pipe on the Comia just doesn't fit with the trailer. I could buy a different trailer which will be smaller which I don't really want to do. Oh okay I've got quite a lot already haven't I? Um, the other thing I'm thinking is buying a forage harvester with an all crop header um, and then carry on silaging and I'll be able to drive around like, like the grass cutting but it should do more quicker. Um, that's kind of the plan. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So. Um, so I've got that on hand, then I can always buy the other headers, so I can do the maze, I can do um, collection, forage, sort of chaff collection. But, working out the maths, I, don't, I still don't think I've got enough. 229 plus 28, no, I haven't got enough. The New Holland is even more expensive and then you can even forget the crone big x that's way out of our price range hmm okay um so back to the farmyard and a bit of a rethink Right, musing on the way back in the tractor, um, I'm going to do a bit more late evening logging. I know it gets boring, um, it's a good way to make a little bit of money, um, well a lot of money actually if it depends on what you do. I am getting to that point where I, I will have cut down every pine tree on this map. Um, so what I think I will do as well in a later episode, and like I said before, when I've got enough money to do it, is buy the tree planter and plant a load more pine trees it's sort of I'm employing um, a policy of deforestation at the moment and I, I think I should really replace some um, right so here we are uh, same process which is it's just quicker and easier doing it this way um, once I've built up enough money on the farm that I can afford the forestry equipment and I've got trucks and I've got the forestry trailers and yeah it'll be a whole different process and it will look completely different if I do any forestry of course if I do plant a whole load more trees um, but at the moment this is a means to an end I, I'm just doing it to get enough money for the next step in the farm the fields are growing um, I may I think I'm on times five I, I sort of sped time up a little bit to get those crops to grow um, but unfortunately because I don't have many fields yet either and I said this right from the start I'm starting from scratch and it's a slow process it becomes a bit like a snowball as it starts to pick up pace you suddenly find you've got more fields you've got more equipment things are harvesting at different times you've always got jobs to do at the beginning you haven't so good morning after a late night logging We've now built up a bit of money. So, move on with the plan. Hope the store's open. Yes, it is. God, I must get up early for work. Right. Forage harvester. That's the way I'm going to go. I definitely can't afford that still. So the Rostzel mash, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the all crop header to start off with. 
um, simply because I can cut grass and everything with it. Um, I may even do an all crop harvest actually once once one of the canola fields is ready. Don't know. And then we'll come back and buy the other headers as we need them, as we buy more fields and as we have different crops in the ground. Very foggy morning this morning. Oh, when I got up and I walked over here from the farm, it was quite sunny actually, but yep, fog's rolled in. So here we are, the Rostel Mash. Now, if you're watching my other gameplay series down on the farm, I've just sold my Rostel Mash and bought the Chrome Big X. And I, haven't, I didn't sell it because I don't like it at all. Um, I do like it, I've said before when I did the forage harvester ones, and it does the job that all the, other, the others do. It hooks up to more trailers than the Rossell Mash does and the uh, the New Holland. Um, I, I, it's a good forage harvester. Um, the only reason I swapped it on my Bjornholm map was because I was doing a lot of maize um, silage harvesting and the maize header for the Chrome Big X is much wider, much bigger. Hmm. Should I buy a trailer as well? I've already got a full eagle. It's only got a 32,000 litre capacity. I've got enough money to buy one. Won't leave me very much, to be fair. But it would make the process... I wouldn't have to keep going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. That's just way out of my league, the chaff trailer. That's, I can't afford that. And some of the others you need. A truck. I've got the dolly, I suppose. Nope. I've taken the plunge. Right, so it's going to take longer to fill it because when you're doing the forage harvesting, the harvester only goes at six miles an hour, but it's got a bigger header, should pick it up quicker. It also means it will take a bit longer to fill the trailer, but I won't have to keep going backwards and forwards so often to the biogas plant to fill up the silage bays. It should also mean every time we've got a full load, the silage bay will fill up quicker. That's the theory. Again, it's going to be a slow process. It's going to take a long time. Um, it's just a bit of patience and going up and down. So I will wind the fast forward bits or skip ahead some of these because once you've seen me doing it for a bit, um, you could end up sitting for a whole episode just watching me collecting grass and turning it into chaff. Um, again, maybe that's what you want to see. Um, but for my sanity and yours, I will skip ahead a little bit. But to start off with, I will do a bit, just so you can see what's happening. It's really weird this one, the Russell Mash header is offset to the right, and I don't know why, it's peculiar, but yeah. It did skip there, um, I, I did spend a few minutes just having a look to see whether the header was adjustable, whether you could slide it left and right so you could centre it or move, move it offset. Um, you can't. <laughs> I thought I'd have a look. Um, yeah, it's, it's odd being offset like that. But anyway, it does the job. Unlike doing grass cutting and collecting with a forage um, wagon forage trailer, um, you don't leave any grass behind. It doesn't. You can't miss any because um, it's just sucking it straight up through where it's cut through the machine. Turning into chaff, spitting it out of the back into the trailer. Although I have sped up a little bit, sped time up. Obviously, because it only goes at six, it doesn't seem like it's going much faster anyway. But it is going faster.
Right, so, as if by magic. First load done. Full trailer, 46,900 litres. And it is a quicker process than cutting grass and throwing it into the um, forage um, trailer, forage wagon. Um, but only, I say, marginally. The head is wider, so it does do twice or three times the, the grass that's being cut. Um, but as I said before, it's a bigger trailer. It's going to take longer to fill it, so, you know. It's monotonous and it takes time. It's just a case of deciding how monotonous, how much of it do you want to do. Um, we need to make some money. We need to do something while the crops are growing. Um, I, I could have just turned time up, turned up to 120, bang through 24 hours, and then the crops are miraculously grown. Um, and I may still speed time up a little bit. Um, I just uh, thought I'd better turn on the um, automatic help because I don't know how compacted the uh, the silage bay is. Um, it's a bit of a lengthy process turning it on and off, but... Okay, so off we go again. Do a few loads of these. Um, I'm aiming to get in the region of 250,000 litres in there, maybe. I'm thinking something like along those lines. Um, and then once that's fermented, or while that's fermenting, the field should be ready. I can harvest the fields. Um, and then the cycle begins again. Plant the fields. I might do a different crop instead of canola next time. Um, whilst that's growing, the silage should be fermented. And the process should carry on. That's, that's the theory behind it. We'll see how that pans out. Um, yeah, so it's, it's that slow process, building up the farm, um, doing something to make money while crops are growing, when you've got enough money to be able to buy another field. As the fields increase and increase in size, the process changes. You can put different crops in and, you know, it all makes it a bit more interesting. Um, I will need to do a wheat or barley crop, probably next in one of the fields, only because the straw for the cows is dropping off because they're using it obviously um, so I will need to replace that so I will need to do a harvest that leaves a straw swath so I can cut the straw up um, I will probably also need to go along with the forage wagon again and do a bit of grass cutting and that's not for that won't be for silage that will be to give to the cows and when the silage is fermented, I will give some more silage to the cows as well, just to keep them productive for a little while. And I think also if um, I make a bit of money on this next load of silage, I might buy a few more cows as well, to keep them plodding on. So as the fields increase, hopefully then I can do some straw bales, I can do some hay bales, I can do some silage bales, keep the cows fed, keep them topped up, um, and gradually start increasing the farm. That's the kind of the plan probably get some greenhouses, put those in some uh, sort of different location, gradually build up to the point where I can get the sheep on the go, um, and the snowball will start to get larger and build up pace, we'll get bigger machinery, and uh, yeah, I mean half the half the fun you know, of doing this, I suppose it depends if you've got a shopper's mentality or not, is buying new equipment, is, is having, building up the money to buy that new stuff, to get the new equipment, to try it out, to drive stuff. And when you've played the game for a long time and you've used a lot of the different types of equipment, you then start to kind of pick favourites, machinery you do like to use for whatever reason, because you like the brand, because you like the equipment, because you like the way it operates. Um, yeah, and it, you know, that's kind of part of the fun of it, is buying that equipment. Um, I can only imagine, you know, obviously I've seen plenty of video clips, but, you know, having a p the PC version, being able to download mods and add those to the game, that adds a whole new element of, you know, trying out new equipment that's not in the base game. Um, adds to that whole fun element of it. Again, new manufacturers, new types of equipment, bits of equipment that you've never used for any particular role. Um, like you know, bigger mowers, John Deere tractors, Massey Ferguson's, 
conveyor belts, you know, all the sorts of things that you don't get in the base game. Um, that when you're doing a job, you think, oh, I can really do with whatever this piece of machinery is. Um, nine times out of ten, it's out there in the modern world. Someone's done it. Um, better wood chipper. I mean, without a shadow of a doubt, a better wood chipper. Um, my daughter constantly wants to do the fruit crops. She wants to do pear trees, apple trees. Wants to have like orchards. Um, so yeah, well, you know, farming simulator 17 has a, you know a lot to live up to. I think everyone's expecting massive things from it. Um, we'll see. So very briefly, today, this morning, I managed to catch up on uh, Brad M73. I think it is. Um, posted a video clip, the latest release from Giants gameplay trailer for tending to animals, and it showed you Massey Ferguson tractor Joskin animal trailer picking up pigs from the uh, livestock market. Um, nine pigs taking them and it showed a clip with a new holland t5 um, bale trailer showed you strapping down bales um, taking them feeding them um, a new self-propelled feed mixer um, a silo king um, it showed a the new voucher tractor um, showed you feeding cows, uh, a water tanker, um, filling up that and giving them water um, and then it showed you this, this sort of process of the, well what they keep telling us um, that the animals will breed and the, the pigs went from 9 to 21 pigs and then there was a much bigger um, livestock trailer um, that went with the man truck that then took them off to be sold um, so a whole process, um, and it looked really good. It also showcased a few new vehicles that we haven't seen on there. Um, it's good to see the new Holland T5s back again. But anyway, I think for today's episode, we've done a fair bit of that. We're up to a fair amount, but I do want to get up to 250,000, so I'm going to do a little bit more in the next episode. I may well do some full crop harvest if the crops are done. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you've enjoyed my ramblings and musings. And uh, thanks for watching.